hello everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to create functions now before we go and create functions let's see what is the necessity of creating functions now if I say select EID comma e name comma e salary from table employee and execute this so I get employee ID employee name and employee salary now say this salary is basic salary now what I want is I want to calculate the gross salary and my gross salary is nothing but basic salary plus 15 percent of basic salary is HRA plus 23.5 percent of basic salary as DA and this is HRA now how do I write this query I can simply write an expression in my query I'll copy this paste it here now I'll say employee salary as basic salary this is basic salary now I want to write gross salary so gross salary is nothing but employee salary plus employee salary into 15 percent as a chare 15 percent is nothing but 15 by 100 it is nothing but 0 0.15 and plus 23.5 percent of salary as DA 23.5 by 100 is nothing but 0 0.235 so I'll say basic salary is nothing but E salary into 0 0.235 I'll put all these things in bracket and I'll say as gross salary and execute this so this is employee salary basic salary and gross salary so I get the gross salary here now if you observe this is bit complex expression that I need to write it here now if I want to perform this similar kind of expressions in various queries I need to write this expression now what is that I can do I can simply write a function for this which should take employee salary and return the gross salary which should take basic salary and it should return the gross salary so how do I write the function writing the function is very simple again I'll say create function function name as get gross salary and input parameter should be basic salary I'll say at basic salary as float and it is going to return float because my gross salary is also a float as I should use begin and end my complete function should be between begin and end now where where do I store the gross salary I'll declare a variable I'll say declare at gross salary as float and I want to set the value of gross salary equals to I'll take the same expression from here and I'll replace e salary with basic salary variable I want to replace e salary with at basic salary and I'll say return at gross salary I need to say set at gross salary now this command got executed successfully that means my function is ready let me refresh the functions folder and go for the scalar function I should see get gross salary I'll drag and drop it 
go for a new window I'll drag and drop get gross salary and I'll use it with select statement select get gross salary I can pass any value if I pass 4000 it will treat 4000 as basic salary and calculate the gross salary and it will give me the output if 4000 is basic salary then the gross salary will be 5540 now this works like predefined function that we used get date sum average minimum maximum now this is my user defined function get gross salary now I can always use function in select statement so now I will say select employee ID comma employee name comma employee salary as basic salary comma get gross salary and here I'll pass employee salary and I'll name it as gross salary from TBL employee that's it now again I get the gross salary but no complexities and even I have the reusability I can reuse this function wherever I want in any query so this is how you can make use of functions and a function can return one and only one value whereas a stored procedure can return more than one value a function should be used in select clause whereas a stored procedure cannot be used in select clause you should execute it separately with the help of exec keyword so these are the few differences between stored procedure and functions so whenever you have some complex calculations in your query it is always better to use a function and you can reuse this function wherever you want in any other queries so this is all about your functions thank you very much